your team is ready. You, you know. Lion dancing has existed in many East Asian cultures for centuries. Among them are Korean, Japanese, and Tibetan lions, and most common in the United States, Cantonese lions. Lion dance goes way back. It has roots in shaman rituals of Neolithic times. Besides representing auspiciousness and good fortune, it also stands for a connection with the spirit world. Today, we usually see lions during Lunar New Year celebrations, but in the past 20 years, lion dance has expanded to include weddings, grand openings, and even competitions. In New York City Chinatown, a handful of teams continue this tradition. This is the story of New York United. My name is Ricky Chen. I'm 23 years old. I've been doing line dancing for 12 years. The first time when I heard about line dancing was when my, it was Chinese New Year's and uh, my family went out to eat in Chinatown and there was line dancing. The year after, my grandpa gave me like my first line head. And yeah, it went off like that. There was a group where I used to live and uh, you could hear like drumming. When I was little, I was just put the drum near the window and pretend like they could hear, so I could join, yeah. <laughs> so my team does different shows, like, like table shows, weddings, banquets, grand openings. We do dragons too. And uh, we're going to a competition in two weeks. Hopefully we win first place, or second at least. I don't want to be cocky. <laughs> this coming tournament is uh, kind of like redemption for us because uh, we lost by like 0 0.02 for second place. Yeah, I was really upset. I didn't want to hold the fucking trophy. We weren't too cocky. We were just like uh, too confident. Mm -hmm that we were going to win first place. And uh, I don't know, that, that tournament was kind of rigged because our table started separating and no one kind of like helped us push it back. But the other team, they had, a, <coughs> they had people holding the benches. So we, we, we only got their place. It wasn't bad, the trophies were pretty big. And these fuckers cheated. Fuck the motherfucker. <laughs> don't ever come out like this, okay? Hold out like this, tilt it. You can put, rest it down a little bit. It's okay if you look down a little bit, okay? Usually when I tell people that doesn't know about line dance, I will first start out, do you know around maybe February, January, those fuzzy things that walk around Chinatown are flushing? Yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> My name is Emily Zhang. I'm 22 and I'm in City College right now of New York, graduating and applied for nursing school soon. I'm a first generation Chinese American. My mom is from Hong Kong. My dad is from Enping, China. I was born in Brooklyn, but I was raised here most of my life in Queens. I joined the team since 2013. Actually, Lion Dance was actually not my first show. I was first doing dragon shows, dragon dance with the nine people in there. I was part of a Chinese club in high school, and Chinese club was asked by ULD to help for a show, and I was part of those group that helped. And ever since I helped for the first show, I've been coming to practice every Sunday and eventually just be part of the team. So lion dancing com composed of two people. So we call the head and the tail, like a coin. <laughs> the head would be involved um, the expression of the lion. They would have, because there will be strings and the way you tilt or the way you blink, even the way you, the way you put your feet, kind of contribute to how a lion will look and bring out the emotion of a lion. So being a tail, which is what I am, our job is to be stable, be strong. We are the foundation for the lion, especially for stunts. 
So for table shows or floor shows, uh, my job is to making sure we do the stunt properly because as a tail, you can't see anything. All you see is the heel of your partner and everything else is covered. So yeah, based on memory, based on, yeah, trust your partner. So the teamwork really come into play here. So some, some of the stuff we do like head stack, which is basically from the floor, put her on the head. That is one of the stunt. And there's another stunt called um, a single leg stack, which is we pop down a squat and then she step on one of the leg and two leg version would be a normal leg squat. I was born in New York. I live in the Lower East Side my whole life. My parents were immigrated from uh, Toysan. I'm basically like first generation. They want me to be like Americanized, where I get like some office shit, like office job. Some bullshit writing papers and shit. I do this, like I'll do line line dance. I do like Chinese culture, you know, because I, I really fuck with that shit. That that shit, like it, it, it amazes me like so much. Like these fucking line hits are can never be like machine made. It's only handmade. This is before I joined. It's like 2010. This is my first table show. Oh, it brings back so much memories. This one was when we had like four teams. Yeah, none of them's here anymore. <laughs> I went to college for like two years. They, they sent me to like remedial class. I, I never I never graduated. I just left. I sacrificed a lot of time to do like stuff like Chinese New Year. Cause Chinese New Year is like more like family gathering and you know you don't really see your family a lot i don't go to family dinners i come here to do shows for people and uh yeah they don't really support it now because uh because <laughs> i don't know how to say it. they don't they don't they don't like me doing it because uh i get hurt or like I don't spend, I don't be, I don't, I'm not home all the time. Um, I always think about line dancing. Like even when I'm home, they hear like YouTube videos of me drumming. Like they, they get annoyed. My mom don't like that shit cause she wants me to be like a, like a fucking white guy or some shit, you know? But the other Chinese people, they love that shit. When I tell them that I, I do this, they're like, oh, you, you do like Chinese culture, it's like you're trying to spread it. And you're, you're a joke sing. So that's even good, you know? It's very hard to find people like you. So it's, it's, it's hard. No one's getting money from this. No one's making a living from that. My Sifu himself, this is not his primary job. He's doing this as a hobby. He doesn't take money from it. All the money we make goes back to club, buying new uniform, new props, paying rent. So no one's profiting. So when we re require people to come, we practice every Sunday. You don't show up, we will be like, why you didn't show up. If it's school, it makes sense, but if you don't come just because you don't feel like it, eh. I feel, feel like the past few weeks, it has shrinking the members that we have. We require a lot from our members. They, they want to learn, they could do it. But for us, if we expect you to come, we want you to dedicate. We want you to put effort into it. Line dance, it is a very laborious sport. So teenagers nowadays that does have the time that don't feel like coming out just to do some practice and sweat, getting hurt. <laughs> so everyone in club, including people that just simply play instruments, have something else to do outside of club. So usually in the morning, I work in the clinics. That's my full-time job. And then in the jewelry place, I, I'm a salesman, so I just sell, try to sell jewelry and stuff. 
Yeah. Uh, so right now I work seven days a week and I don't know how many hours a week. But right now I'm still trying to pull as much time out. That's why I can't make it to every single show. But if I can, I will. And if it's important, the whole, if we have a lot of shows that day, I will take off. So I try to be here as much as I can, even with my working schedule. Um, but if I do get into a nursing program, I'm going to be packed with studying and working. But I just never see myself like not doing line dance as part of my schedule, like daily life. Balancing and time management would definitely be one of the biggest problems for me. I think at the end, if you really like something, you'll always make time for it. And never once have I thought of quitting. Like when I got my two jobs, when I'm lacking sleep because I study and I always make time for shows. I always make time for my practice. Shoes. It's cold. Oh, it's been oh yeah, you bring an umbrella. Did I bring my uniform? Shit, I didn't bring my uniform. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have two more sisters, and I managed to persuade my sisters to join, and they enjoyed it too. We are two years and one year apart. The thing is, when I checked the weather today, it said like 50 something. Yeah. That was gonna be cold. Good luck. <laughs> For my house to get to practice in Manhattan, I had to take two to three trains, and it takes usually an hour and a half for me to get there on a good day. But on, we've always find ways to use that time, either sleeping or just studying on the train. So it's not bad. The commute is it's usually the MTA when they have problems. That's the one that gets bad. My dad doesn't know I do lion dancing for the past three to four years. He's the one that is all, all like about traditional. Be like, yes, keep that Chinese in you. So I told him, so I did a show today, there's a like lion dance, and then he told me, oh, they're a gang, I know it, yeah, quit that team. And I was shocked because like, I was very enjoying it, I loved it a lot. He refused to buy a laptop for my college until I quit the club. So I decided to buy my own laptop and continue, but I just haven't brought up that I'm still in the team. We've been thinking how to tell him. We've been scared how to tell him. Good morning. 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 Good he don't say no. He, he don't say yes. It's, he just like okay. That should be okay. As long as like we we get back and we not stay for another night, it's okay. Oh, I'm coming back like at one two o'clock. That's okay. okay. Three. That's okay. okay. Yeah. That's okay. Might as well. He's not gonna be happy regardless. That's the You don't say okay. Anymore. <laughs> okay is what? I don't know if he he was putting one to one that we're staying overnight yet. But I told him we're leaving Friday night, and right? the competition's on Saturday night, in right? Boston. Oh. So okay. he should know it's overnight. That's it. Just, just go like that, quiet. Listen. Really, if it is find Listen. the right person and like have them pretend to be a teacher, hello, I'm gonna we, be a We're not bullshit. We just go there, we have something to do. Not like go there, bullshit, okay? Nothing just we have something to do. It's, it's nothing wrong, okay? Nothing we do the way. right way. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Just go. Yeah. Turn off your cell phone. <laughs> 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 Yeah. And
check the weather right now. Watch it say it's not raining right now. I told you. You guys don't listen to me. Oh, I know. 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 Oh, I in case if it's raining on the tournament, you guys got the upper hand. You guys practice in the rain. I see four. Who's here? I'm not going to get high. I'm 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 going to get high. Woman, can you like take a week? I was gonna put it up, you're like making me go, ah! Woman, do you like seats? My current partner right now, his name is David. I knew him since, he's a year younger than me, so I knew him in eighth grade when I was in ninth. And uh, we went to the same high school. I think like, <laughs> you know how there's a beam? <laughs> We started as freshman year with a bunch of friends, but in senior year, you only have like one friend. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> I, that's he's like my only friend in that whole high school that I like really trust. And, and we just kicked it off. I think like in junior senior year, that's when we actually became partners. And uh, I, I taught him a lot. I taught him how uh, how I used to play head and then how to improve to be like better than me. Doing line dance has a lot of trust. Yeah, we, we had to gain that trust. There's always room to improve. Every movement he makes, like every little footwork, I could just tell what he's gonna do next. It's just, it's just chemistry, and yeah. Oh shit, oh yes. shit! No pain, no gain. Right? <laughs> is it gonna hurt? Not really. This is what happened. When I went over, I think I went over like this. Right? When other people look at it, it looked like this was like covering his eyes. So I had to cut it. It should be okay. A little more clear now. Time to add more bells. YOLO <coughs> oh, Fuck Too much fucking fur
。喂 ，Ricky， 走咗啦。Okay, okay, do, do, do. Okay, do. Fucking told you, man. I get the fucking bitchy for it, yo. I just don't fucking understand. There's Wi-Fi here? Yeah. What? Wait, give me a second, I'll call you back. <laughs> Hey guys, there's three teams at the hotel. If you bump into them, just just. Huh? Okay. There's three teams. So, uh, right? I think so. Did they get the room there? I think yeah. 
Nampai has three teams uh, performing. How many goals tomorrow? Uh, 11, I think. 11? Yeah. How many? How many is No, I don't think they got it. <laughs> I need a couple guys that will help me unload. Let's go unload. I'll come back and get you guys. You can stay the Nine teams will compete and only one will get the grand prize. They'll be judged on five categories. Storytelling, footwork and synchronization, expression of the lion, instrumentals, and athleticism. And each team gets only one chance at their routine. They fall. I hope they fall and knock, knock it up, you know. Or twist the ankle, something. I don't know. Break the neck. Break the line head. Good. A a anything's good, man. Fuck those guys. They fucking cheaters.
team from New York United. We have a 9.95. The winner, the champion of 2017 uh, East Coast Committee hosting the National Alliance competition, um, 9.775 post deduction, the New, New York United Line Dance Group. This 
Over here is the uh, first place championship title for the East Coast National Lion Dance Competition of 2017, and we are proudly presented to the well-deserved team from New York, all the way from New York, with all the honor that I have and all the pleasure that I have. I want to present this to the team, uh, and it will be uh, Ricky, right? Yeah. Will you come up and accept this? Despite their win, New York United faces uncertainty. Coach Ricky has threatened to shut down the team if members continue to leave. You hear Ricky talk during competition too, that we might not even continue on next year. So that's the fear. What happened if we just stopped? then am I gonna go to another line dance team? Am I gonna just like, you know, give up? I didn't think that far yet. Ricky's tired, he's been doing it for so long. But like, as we now, we just like having less and less people, I guess like, he don't see like a future in it. I still have like a lot of passion into it. But like, as you do more and more, and then like less and less people give a damn about staying, things like that, I guess like that kind of, you know, puts out your fire a little bit every day, yeah. The thing now is like the generation, it's like, it's, like I said, it's really hard to find like people like me who still like does like Chinese culture and uh, like conserve, like like try to spread it, conserve it and stuff like that. Like people don't, people don't appreciate it anymore. It's, it's frustrating. That's why, that's why you don't see any new covers coming in. Cause you know, they don't want to do that shit. Just want to play basketball and have fun. I hope they, they, they treat line dance like a sport, you know? Like you get sponsored or get like a bigger place and like you can tell it's hard and uh, <clears throat> like we struggle to, to practice even in the rain. Uh, yeah, that's it. And I just hope that like young, younger people like appreciate like what Chinese people have done or like what, what they have made. You had to learn about yourself only through events that are very tough, like marathon running. You feel like a whole new you, or like you feel like you accomplished something great after you finish the marathon, because you prepare for it, you practice, and then during the day, you feel the, the adrenaline rush, you feel nervous, all that. That's us every single show. You fucking love this shit. <laughs> I don't know, because I, I, I fucking love like that, man. Like, no one could take it from me. My mom couldn't take it from me. My dad couldn't take it from me. My grandma didn't even want to worry about it. My ex-girlfriend didn't want, all my ex-girlfriends didn't want to take it from me. They couldn't. It's, it's just hard, you know. No one could take line dance away from me. <laughs> 